Yeah, my name is Stefan Goetz. I'm a partner at Hellman and Friedman. I'll um, give you a bit of background on us as a firm and then to introduce one of our portfolio companies, Securitas Direct, which, among other things, is a player in the home automation and connected home field. Um, some of you might already know us. Uh, for those of you who don't, uh, we we're actually one of the oldest and most successful private equity firms around. We've been around for 30 years, originally West Coast based, but now with offices in London and in New York. Europe accounts for about a third of our activities. Um, on one hand, we're really one of the largest uh, institutional private equity investors with $36 billion uh, of um, capital that we've raised, including our most recent fund of $11 billion. But actually, at the heart, we are still one of the very few boutiques that's left. Uh, that means we're 10 deal partners worldwide, 50 investment professionals, one singular focus on finding great businesses with substantial organic growth, um, and uh, you know, no other distractions, no other asset classes that we're pursuing. We have deep expertise in software, information services, technology, and um, digital media. And that focus has translated in, into one of the best um, track records in private equity. Securitas Direct um, was a business we acquired together with Bain Capital back in 2011. It's um, the leader in providing monitored alarms to homes and small businesses um, in Europe and Latin America. Um, 1,800,000 happy and very loyal customers basically translate into us being three and a half times the size of the next biggest competitor uh, in our footprint. To put this uh, a bit into perspective, I'd like you to just um, keep in mind and maybe remember a few key facts. For us, an average subscriber stays with us for 14 years. That's twice the duration uh, that our competitors are generally able to keep their customers in the States and in Europe. So twice the customer longevity. Uh, we're growing our portfolio uh, consistently at around 10%. That might seem lame for internet companies. I can assure you it's not lame uh, with our business model, uh, especially if you can do it for 20 plus years. Um, and the reason for that is, is, is one, good execution and actually high customer retention, but also the fact that we are still serving a very underpenetrated market. In Europe, the penetration of the services that we provide is at less than half that of the States. Um, so lots of headway for growth. And we do all of this um, with great customer economics, uh, 37 euros per month average customer revenue, and um, you know, high rates of profitability, about 50% portfolio margin, 500 million portfolio EBITDA, so a sizable company uh, that's been operating for a long time very, very successfully and has a lot of runway. Now, what about the connected home and um, you know, for us, this is not the core of what we do, but it's an add-on. Um, people always, um, nowadays, and it's become quite fashionable to think about home automation and so on as a product. But, uh, and that's partially true, because features do actually matter, uh, which is why we, at Securitas, we integrate um, control of your HVAC system, alarm, um, sort of um, video monitoring, and other features that pertain to the uh, to the connected home more broadly into our platform. But fundamentally, at, at its core, our business is a technology-enabled service business. And um, I think there's an important difference in that. that. We really promise our customers protection and peace of mind uh, and some ancillary benefits. And we deliver that through the daily interaction of our 8,000 staff with our customers. Um, and there's something very profound in that it creates a relationship with a customer uh, that ultimately leads to the sort of longevity that I talked about, um, which then creates opportunities uh, to then uh, sell other things uh, to those customer base. So how do you make money in the connected home? Some of you might think, uh, well, actually, I'll sell myself to Google, and then things will be fine. And that's actually a good strategy if you can pull it off. But if you're fundamentally trying to build business value in the business and profitability, things are a bit more difficult. A lot of product business ultimately ends up being a dog's breakfast. Uh, commoditization, 
uh, you know, ease of, of effectively replication until uh, unless you're able to build something that's as defendable as some of the best businesses out there like Apple and so on, ecosystems, uh, you know, people don't make a lot of money. Um, that's very, very different when it comes to services. And the reason why that's different is fundamentally because services businesses are able to drive penetration and they're able to create stickiness with the customer base. We are providing an integration service to our customers that when it comes to home automation that enables them to get a sensible set of functionality in a way that works out of the box where we install the system and all of this for affordable rates, um, both upfront in terms of the, mon in the monthly additional charges. Now, you know, many early adopters and techies might enjoy the uh, idea of doing the system integration themselves, but I can tell you that's not the mass market. I think the second, the second element here is that is really the service that we provide on an ongoing basis. Um, unless you are doing that, you're actually not earning the right to be in a subscription-based revenue model. And that has profound implications for your ability to then generate customer lifetime value. You know, when this is done right, and that's our experience, we are able to provide something to the customer that's very appealing in terms of the total proposition, including the economic proposition, but at the same time creates five times the total lifetime value um, from those customers and from those features that we are selling. So that's a powerful model. And that's the reason why um, product companies that are keen on tapping into our base of customers and that are uh, interested in leveraging our distribution power are fundamentally looking to partner with us and, and we're looking to partner with them because we have something to offer and it's a complementary symbiotic uh, relationship. We already have a few of those um, that are effectively we're working with now extensively that's leaders in their field uh, like for locks and uh, clo you know, closing systems, it's Asa Ablo Yale, um, for HVAC, it's uh, Panasonic, and there are a number of others. But we're always looking for new opportunities. So if you have something exciting to sell, you should really contact Securitas Direct. And if you have an exciting investment proposition, contact me. Thank you. <laughs>